what is going on guys and welcome back to another video today is a very very exciting day because as you can see from the title we have a new car it's something that's kind of overdue but not really uh, this is my Volkswagen this is my 2001 Volkswagen Golf it's a 1.8 T it has 223,000 miles on it and it just blew the water pump so it's not the biggest deal in the world but the car has been having constant little issues and I've been kind of chasing them around uh, for the last two months I've probably only been able to drive it for like a month with an axle and now the water pump and just multiple little issues it's old it's a 2001 like I said and it's starting to become not as reliable as it used to be I absolutely love the car it's a great car but I think it's time to move on to something a little bit nicer so if you are new to the channel, I love Subarus. Subarus are definitely the car of my choice. I have a 2006 WRX all over the channel. It's a great car. I absolutely love the Impreza platform. We just finished picking it up. It was actually in Ohio, so just over the border of Pennsylvania, so it wasn't really that far of a drive. But we just got back, and I figured it's time to show you guys what we got. So let me introduce you to my new car, my 2007. Subaru Impreza Wagon. So there it is. That is the 2007 Subaru Impreza wagon, which for being a filmmaker and somebody who likes to take photos and make videos, the wagon or the hatch was kind of a necessity for me because being able to pop this hatch open and getting really low to the ground is super, super beneficial. Honestly, there's only one thing that I would consider wrong with this car. If you know anything about Subarus and the 02 to 07, they have a problem where they rust right here above the rear wheel. Now, my 2006 WRX was doing the same thing, except the previous owner rolled the fenders and banged the lips of his wheels off the fenders, causing them to flare upward and rust and be horrible. So I did make a video on doing the STI arch pieces where you can actually fix this arch here without actually having to go to a body shop and have them cut it out, re-bondo it or whatever and paint it. This is about the extent of the rust on this whole car. So as you can see, it's starting to work its way you know, obviously it needs cut out. That's just, that's just how it is. So the STI arch will actually fit. It's essentially this piece right here, but it continues and it's probably about this big and then it goes to about there or maybe even a little further. So all you need to do is cut this out and cut any of the stuff under this weather strip here and reseal it with the rubberized undercoating and then you can buy them paint matched or I have a paint guy who could probably spray those pieces for like $100 max. And then that way you just sand this clean or, you know, to make it abrasive and then just use a automotive body adhesive, press it on there, and then it'll look completely OEM. I don't have to go to the body shop and pay hundreds, even a thousand dollars to have them fix that professionally. I don't know why I did professionally. It would be professionally, but I'm going to do it at home and I'll probably make a video on it because a lot of people instantly are uh, turned away from this year's Subaru when they see that rust. Now, if it's too bad or it's uh, all the way up here where you would need almost fender flares, which I'm not gonna do, uh, this is very fixable. This is very, very easy to fix. So that's gonna be something that's gonna happen before winter because if, it, if I let it go through another winter, it's gonna get worse and then the chances of the STI piece actually covering it are gonna be even less. It's gonna be a pretty easy fix. I'm very excited to get it fixed. So then it's pretty much 100% perfect. Uh, as you saw from the little pan shots, the interior is 10 out of 10 uh, and it's a five speed manual, which was a, which was a must for me. Uh, these seats and I mean the floor mats, the, the dash, I mean it's 
it's perfect. Even there, there aren't even like stains on the roof or anything. It doesn't have a sunroof, which isn't a big deal. Um, it would have just made the insurance more expensive. Has a little roof rack, but the hatch is great. I love the hatch. Is it open? Yep. So the hatch is great. It has the all weather floor, like a brand new one of these guys. Tons of space for shooting videos. Another thing that it has, which I'm actually really excited for, is this exhaust. It's just like a cat back and it's not very loud. It gives off the perfect tone for just driving. When these cars are bone stock, they just make no noise. And driving a manual car that makes absolutely no noise is kind of difficult. I wouldn't say it's hard or it's impossible, or I just find it unenjoyable um, to not be able to really hear how hard the motor's working or it's such an audible feedback when driving a car and it just makes it so much better with having that it's not very loud but it has a little bit of tone to it and it's very nice to listen to and nice to get some audible feedback from driving your car so i'll throw in a sound clip of it driving probably after this when i film it later so this is what it sounds like It sounds good and it's a Hawkeye. And if you guys know, my 2006 is also a Hawkeye. So as funny as it sounds and as much as it's a daily, I don't wanna modify the suspension. I don't wanna touch suspension or wheels because it needs to be comfortable and enjoyable to drive. From my Hawkeye, I had a plastic front lip that I replaced with my Seabon carbon fiber one. So I think I'm just gonna see if it lines up and if it looks stupid by itself because it's literally just been sitting there. I also have plastic side skirts and I don't know if they fit the wagon because the wagon has a shorter wheelbase. So I don't know if they're compatible, but the front bumper and front lip should be the same. So I'm curious what that's gonna look like. So I'm just gonna mock it up and see before I do anything. All right, so there's the front lip. It's just an eBay front lip. And I really don't see why it would look bad per se, but it's one of those things where it's like the rest of the car is like totally stock. So would it look silly to have a front lip? Would it even be that noticeable? I don't know. Um, I don't have the hardware for it. So I'm just kind of mocking it up right now just to see what it would look like. So I'm gonna probably set the camera up and just get an idea. But I mean, I don't think it would look too bad regardless. All right, so we found the self tappers, decided, hey, why not throw it on? Can't be your car without doing anything to it. So um, it really doesn't like do anything for the car. It's just like I said, I had it sitting in the garage and why would not put it on the car? It fits, it doesn't look bad. And the side skirts on these cars sit lower than the front bumper anyway. So it kind of levels the car out. So if you want a technical reason for putting it on, there you go. But I think it looks good. I, I love how these cars look overall, so can't really complain. So super pumped with how that turned out. Well, yeah, I love how this turned out. I think that the little things like that really make a difference. I don't wanna, this car is not to be modified. It, it's a daily driver and I need to keep saying that to myself because I look at this thing and just look at potential. I mean, the side profile of the wagons are really, really cool. I kinda wish I bought a wagon in a WX, but I love the sedan, but it has such a cool side profile. And just looking at the wheel well gap and like knowing what wheels fit and how cheap some wheels can be, I, I could just see myself putting coils on it and lowering it. But like I said, it's a daily, it needs to stay that way. So if it ever happens, I need to look back on this video because I'm gonna say it and say it again and say it again and say it again. But I, I do really, really like how this car looks. The exhaust is really perfect and all I need. I really, really enjoy this car. So I hope that you guys are excited to see this car. Um, unfortunately, I mean, since I'm not gonna be doing anything to it, it won't really be on the channel per se, but if I do any other little things like that or you know, get the windows tinted or new shift knob or something like that, that's where this car might kind of come into play. But it's just a reliable, all-wheel drive daily. That's something I'm very familiar with. And that's one of the biggest reasons I went with it is because I understand these cars and they're very, very similar to each other. So it made a lot of sense to me. I really, really hope you guys are excited to see this car and I'm excited to have it. So if you haven't already, 
uh, consider subscribing. It would mean the world. And if you like this car or have one yourself, go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you guys think of it. And that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching and have an awesome day.